Yeah, good morning everyone. That's August 25th, 2021. And it's right now, if I'm not mistaken, Wednesday. So 7.34 a.m. We're ready to start. Now let's get this day going. I'm going to be heading to a workout zone because I've made it a point to work out every single morning. I used to work out actually every single evening, but um, I decided to kind of switch some things up and try some new routines. So yeah, I'm going to be heading. Let's get going. As well, I'm heading to the workout zone. Just wanted to share with you something that I've been lately laughing at a lot. And that people are telling me like, hey, Vladimir, I want to get into shape. Hey, Vladimir, I want to be this millionaire. Hey, Vladimir, I want to earn a lot of money. I'm not a millionaire, but what I can tell is that it is impossible to achieve something that you are describing me you want to achieve if you are not ready to put into work. And people are telling me like, I want to be a millionaire, but at the same time, I don't want to work at all and I'm not doing anything for this. So you don't deserve this millionaire status. You don't deserve this athlete status because athletes and millionaires, they're top 2% of all people on earth because they're ready to put into work. They're ready to work their butts off as hard as they can. And they're doing this consistently. They're doing this every single day. They're motivated to crush it. They wake up driven they wake up obsessed with what they are doing and they are working for it so my advice to you is you always have to dream but what's more important you always have to work you always have to execute because execution is everything without execution information is meaningless just remember that and yeah this is amazing day out here in moscow so <clears throat> meet you at the workout zone Yo, everyone, I'm in the middle of my workout. And what I've noticed, by the way, in morning workouts is that when you work out in the morning, when you conduct this training, yeah, hyper-intensive training, you're actually really charged up for the rest of the day because you are you have completed, essentially, the hardest part of the day. You went to the workout. You um, trained your body. You really put yourself in this uncomfortable position. And then all the tasks down the road of the day are becoming really easy like they are becoming simpler much simpler than the actual workout so i would advise you to try at least try working out in the morning and additional to all people who love pump who who love like you know the selfies with the, their muscles this is a really big big moment for you to take selfie because you have much bigger pump in the morning than if you have in the evening yeah that's really weird but this is what it is so yeah, um, I'm gonna have uh, 10 minutes more of working out and then I'm gonna go home and we'll tell you what we're gonna do next. So see you home. All right guys, so now we're home and what I wanna tell you is that I have already set all my goals for the day and I typically set from three so five goals for my day, there are most prioritized tasks. Uh, for example, for today, my num I would say number one prioritized task is I'm gonna go to my gym and I need to also update my membership there because I haven't, haven't been updating this for quite a while. Maybe like it ended in May and I didn't update this since May. So yeah, I'm gonna go today to the gym. I have a meeting with uh, a representative of the gym at 12 p.m. Also, as usual, I'm going to be learning Photoshop, by the way, and now I'm learning Photoshop, like uh, learning editing, as you may see, like, you know, um, really cramping down on 3D models here in Photoshop. And um, yeah, this is kind of what I like, what I love, what I'm obsessed. And also today, I would say, I would say even more important task is that I'm going to record an episode for my podcast. And if you haven't checked my podcast out, that's called the Coos Talk Show, where I'm when I'm just talking about entrepreneurship, when I'm talking about investing, um, just motivation, passion, 
and so much more investing. This is all that I'm interested in and uh, I'm also going to be inviting guests in. Really amazing and fantastic guests that have achieved something in their careers. And uh, yeah, the goal of this podcast is to actually provide value for you without asking anything in return because I genuinely want to give you all the knowledge that I have for free. And I think that free information is actually the best way to provide uh, value to the people. I'm gonna see you soon during the day. I'm gonna have breakfast right now. So let's go. Oh, all right guys, two hours of work have been completed. I'm currently learning Photoshop and uh, editing photos for my Instagram profile as well as uh, TikTok profile. And just the biggest takeaway that I've noticed after people is that people aren't tapping into all technology that we have. People aren't utilizing this free information that is available on YouTube for free, for absolutely free. I'm, I actually, like my story about English and just how I learned this in one year is that I, I was using all sources that I actually got my hands on because I knew that it would anyways bring me knowledge, even though it's free, even though as many people may say it's not as uh, productive as something paid, I can tell you that there is everything for free. It's just all about implementation. Like many coaches are saying, hey, if you have your stuff for free, you will not implement this because it's free and you're not going to pay attention. But what I'm going to tell you is that it's absolutely depends on you willing to work. If you're willing to work, if you're willing to really put all the knowledge, all your mindset into work, this free information is going to work for you. So always, always make... So don't hesitate to watch some YouTube video on how to edit something, on how to, I don't know, become better in fitness, become better in skating. I don't know where you're you're aiming to, but I know that it's all out there. You just need to look for this and you need to implement all what you found. So membership in the gym has been paid. Love this gym, love this place. It's by the way my first gym that I has ever been to. So grateful for that place. Yeah, right now I'm gonna head home. And the reason why I actually love working out exactly in the gym is that because the environment there is really contributing to your growth and contributing to your motivation. Like uh, for me already, this doesn't take like so much motivation to get me to the workout But for especially for beginners, I would highly advise you to go to the gym exactly because in uh, Especially in guys places if you were working out like in you saw a, a really cute girl there that you want to be adored by You start working out harder, right? And in the gym, there is plenty of these girls who want to be um, truly big in their eyes so the environment is really important and just go there just go and roll it's like you know it doesn't cost too much to just go to the gym um, and work out by yourself even though of course you can pay for a coach which i would highly advise you to do especially if you haven't been in the gym for a while um yeah just amazing place to work out this is it that i want to say so yeah beautiful weather here again love love actually this weather that is happening right now gonna head home gonna run so guys i got back from the gym i have enrolled i have updated my membership there and now the task is to go actually to my school because i need to pick up the gut documents in order to transfer to the homeschooling because yes i haven't done this yet even though the school year in russia starts just maybe like in one week in September 1st or September 2nd, I don't clearly remember. But so that's really important to do for me right now because I wanna end two years. I wanna finish the school in one year, even though I still have two years to study. So I gotta do this in one year. So this is gonna be my challenge. And for this right now, like I need to make the first step is to pick out the documents. I mean, to pick up the documents from my school, which I'm gonna do right now. So um, stay tuned with me. I'm gonna lead you to my school in here in Moscow, Russia. Probably gonna be interesting. A few 
moments later. This is the form that my parents are supposed to actually fill out, but my parents are busy right now, so I gotta fill out that, fill this out by myself. Gonna be filling this out. Yeah. I'm gonna leave this place for the bag. The question of Miguel is, it's about the conflict on choosing between pursuing a passion or learning getting something because it's practical and you can make a living from it. All right, everyone, so we've just wrapped up with my podcast. I mean, I by myself, uh, I was answering one of my subscribers' key question. And that question is really important. So especially for all young people who are struggling to find their passion, I would highly advise you to actually watch and listen to this episode because it's going to be available on the Apple podcast. It's going to be also available on YouTube, Spotify, and all the other platforms. So I really hope that you are going to check that out. And for now, we got to go home because that's actually already getting pretty late and I have to go to bed as you already know by 11.30, so yeah, I'm gonna see you at home. Uh, thanks for watching my video till the end. It was the first episode of my Coos Day show, like my daily blogs, and I'm really extremely grateful for you supporting my channel, for you being my follower, for you truly enjoying my content and checking this out, watching this, com commenting this. I really appreciate all your help all your comments this is just warming up my heart so much you cannot imagine how it's warming up my heart and uh yeah so this is kind of the beginning of a new era on my channel and i'm grateful for you all guys being here thank you so much and i'm gonna see you tomorrow